Hello, this is Ivan for watchandlearn.com and in this video we are going to be talking about Gulp.js, Live Reload and CES for our theme. Uh, but be before we start doing all of that great stuff, uh, I just wanted to draw your attention to the code we will be using. So everything we do in these videos will be available for you on GitHub. So you just go to here, link in the description below and you go to, I don't know, DA theming so you can see uh, this will be the latest video but if you want to check out the code for the previous videos you just go to releases and then you have this like it's made for this video Drupal 8 theming part 3 Gulp JS SAS and live reload so you just download this zip file and you will have all the code you need to follow these tutorials if you don't want to write everything I do with me. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video and let's get to it. So to set up Gulp.js, uh, Live Reload, CS and so on, we are going to do much of the same steps as we did in the uh, Middleman series. So I'm going to use stuff I already made for uh, WordPress's Olympus theme. So if you don't know what Olympus theme does, please check out the video about, about the Olympus theme. Uh, and uh, this theme for Drupal is going to do pretty much the same thing as regards to CES, to JavaScript minification, to images uh, optimization and so on. So we're just going to download this zip file. and I'm going to go to my sites, D8 theming and I'm going to create a folder called assets and I'm going to put it in here so I put uh, let's say designs, fonts and so on everything I need for the project in the asset folder okay so if we uh, go actually to my fail file manager uh, we have these assets right here of course if you don't use this type of file manager you would have to unzip this file but I can just press enter and see what's in it so I'm just going to go in my other tab to the d8 theming root and copy two files in it so I'm just going to copy gulp file.js and package.json files okay and next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to themes, custom and Demian and I'm going to copy this fonts directory uh, I'm going to oh, uh, I didn't mean to do that actually I'm just going to delete these guys right here uh, I'm just going to copy images and then I'm going to copy this JS and then I'm going to copy this lib file actually folder and this says folder okay so we have our kind of our theme uh, directory construct right here so we have our images so we put images in here we have this JS folder in which I'm going to delete this olympus.js because we are calling file if we look in the libraries main.js so we don't need this uh, in the lib folder I'm going to actually just leave everything as is and in the CS folder I'm going to go to style.scss and remove these lines because WordPress requires them but Drupal does not so I'm just going to save this and now we have this thing ready right here so the next thing I need to do I need to uh, set up my gulp file.js uh, so it corresponds to this Drupal installation and our theme okay so let's open gulp file.js and all we need to do here actually is just uh, rename these paths right here so this is made for a WordPress theme but we are on Drupal and we're using a Drupal theme so instead of WP content themes Olympus we will have 
themes, custom, and Demian. And that's it. So I'm just going to quickly search and replace all of those. So this. So let's just replace them. Okay. Uh, and we just have to in this CS task. So we are not going to save our CSS file style.css we're not going to save it to WP content themes Olympus but we are going to save them into themes custom and Demian CSS so as we defined in our libraries folder so as you can see here it's going to be calling CSS style.css okay and let's see what else we need to do so in the uglify task so this task is going to take all of our JavaScript uh, libraries plugins for jQuery and so on it's going to take all of them concatenate them minify them and then put them in this JS folder so we don't have to call them from these libraries you of course can if you want but if you don't want to do that you just put your all of your jQuery plugins or JavaScript files right here and the uh, gulp file JS is going to do the rest Ex uh, we just have to rename this from olympus.min.js to main.js because in our libraries folder we are calling JS main.js file so that's it for that let me just make this a little bit bigger and then we're just going to uh, set up this watch task so we are going to watch for not teams custom and demian style.css but uh, teams custom and demian css style.css and then we are not going to be watching any PHP files but since Drupal uses twig for templating we are going actually we are actually going to be watching all of the subfolders of our theme and the main folder of our theme and we are going to be watching twig files so this uh, file that we added in the previous episode page.html twig corresponds to that so instead of PHP I'm just going to write twig and I'm going to do remove this parts right here and this one is going to be watching all of our JS files that can be in this JS folder okay so that's about it for gulp uh, file.js what we need to do now is install all of the modules required by this file so to do that I'm just going to go to my uh, terminal and going to go into my d8 theming folder and you just do sudo npm install so you may need to use sudo you may not but I have to so I'm just going to do sudo npm install add my password and we just wait for everything to install to our Drupal installation so when all of this is done we can test it out so we just run this watch task right here so we have a watch task it's going to be watching all of our files uglifying JavaScripts uh, compiling SCSS uh, and so on and I'm just going to do gulp watch gulp watch okay so gulp is now running to test it out we can go to CS folder go to globals.css just remove this right here add it again and save it and as soon as we saved it as you can see we got this CSS folder right here with style.css in it and style.css.map in it okay so this works 
uh, let's say if, uh, let's see if live reload works so I'm going to go to our Drupal site and I'm going to start this live reload plugin for Chrome and we're just going to go to our globals.scss and do background 000, zero, zero so black save it and as you can see as soon as I switch the screen everything changed on the screen because the live reload is working so if I just do FFF go here it's reloaded again okay let's test out twig files so we have this one page.html.twig so let's go to this page content right here as you can see we have welcome to Drupal theming that's there is nothing above it actually there is logout and so on but we're going to add some of our things so if I add uh, here hello there save it as you can see the browser is already reloading and we have hello there okay if we remove this save it again it works let's just check out out our console so as you can see it's telling us in the console that it can find this logo.svg file because because we don't have it it's an image we can add it later but what I'm more concerned about is this main JS it's not showing up because we don't have anything in our JS folder so to fix that I'm just going to go to lib file main JS just remove this at the end add it again and just save it and if we go to the JS folder right now gulp concatenated and minified main.js and modernizer.main.js concatenated it in one file as, and as you can see we have main.js file right here so if, if I refresh the page as you can see now it uh, can't find just logo.svg so our uglification of JavaScripts also works so what you can do with this is if you have some jQuery libraries or some other JavaScript files you just put them in the lib folder save it and it will automatically go into this minified uh, JS file called min.js and I think that's about it for Gulp and Live Reload and SAS. Uh, in the next episode we are going to be discussing regions and how you can put stuff in those regions. Remember that everything that we did here is will be available on GitHub so you can download the code right, right there. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like it. If you want you can even I don't know subscribe to my channel uh, you can follow me on Twitter or on Facebook I will keep you up to date with my videos and the stuff I find on the internet and thanks thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one